we got some cactuses on each side. Okay, so I gotta keep following up. What's the squirrels up to? By the way, look at this way up there, along with the flowers. Looks like a barn. Every time you take a hard step in an adventure of any kind. Jumping sparrows and some jumping squirrels here too. How many ducks are there? I can guess, 450? Yeah. Hello guys. Yeah. So, it is 4.30 p.m. and look at this. We came all the way right next to the lake where there are how many squirrels? Four squirrels. You could easily count that. I like that there's a duck standing on this sign. One of the squirrels on the grass. And yep, yeah, that's it. We got some cactuses on each side right near the raft. So as we go all the way uphill here, you can see, oh, look at that, by the way. There's a duck. That's great. There are some ducks standing on some signs where it says no littering stuff like that and look at this car by the way not talking about the age of it but the model it's a cooper cobra it's a cooper cobra so now there's even more ducks than rabbits squirrels and even chipmunks around and there's still look at that that looks like a slide there we are still ain't got any squirrels here for now but that was fun we found a slide that squirrels would like to enjoy at night when every one of these wild creatures come out after hours and the squirrels would like to jump up and down get on that slide and the ducks try to attack the goose hey, that's a duck right there look at that interesting the color of the water looks almost like black from where you're pointing at here right at the shade but i guess that's all that you can go down at the moment okay so i gotta keep following up what's the squirrels up to by the way look at this they do have a grill here too that's actually quite fun and now I'm gonna continue my way through the shortcut these things are spiky by the way and spikes are not friends so they might harm you but yeah that's it where to go to next yeah check this out there is a plastic car by the way the plastic mercedes this is funny yeah i know yeah and the fact that the license plate says i'm okay six this is what happens when they shred the trees this is how lumpy it looks like that and if you were to take the shortcut and that's the point that would start to get wild oh my god looks like we're gonna go all the way up here my god it's all soil and all dry plants uh oh my glasses it's funny what's all the way up there it's like a small village house and look at how many dry trunks there are that's what makes it even harder to walk all the way up there along with the flowers looks like a barn though as well oh wow look at that yeah that's where the squirrels come out it's the hole of the squirrels and okay yeah that looks more like a barn oh no it isn't what i thought it was it is an area that you can have a picnic and they got some sinks and even here they got two grills that's fantastic what a great place to have a picnic and all the way at the other side is the restrooms uh oh this door got broken it's very hard to get in this car now though but whatever now we're back to that point that we can find some more mysteries and a sink well actually even two that's crazy the way they put this all out and now <laughs> we're back in the woods we're literally back in the woods now we're heading down all the way from this slope and as we get all the way down here that's actually going to be the hardest part of all this now it's even harder that they got so many shredded trees but 
this is the hardest point already but we're gonna make here and this is the, the advantage this is the advantage oh yeah done it man that really was hard that last part was just very hard now another two ducks what up folks so oh my god that looked like a big truck coming all the way but no it was actually another duck i can't even see the houses that are in our neighborhood and the ones right next as well and it's actually not that difficult to locate which one is which but anyways now i'm going to get up from this reservoir and see what the hell else is going on so every time you take a hard step in an adventure of any kind every time you take the most difficult step then it's actually that you're gaining more energy it's like if i was to take even a bigger step when going a lifetime at macfit and well that looked like a wolf by the way I got a bit distracted there, but that looked like a freaking wolf. It's not even that hour of the day yet. And it's like when a squirrel comes out of their hole and the wolf tries to attack, then that's pretty much like an action movie, you know? But anyways, now I'm going to continue my adventure. I wonder if we can even do fishing here. That would be a great activity to do though, but I wonder if we can do any type of fishing. Well, I just said it. This group is doing fishing, and that's actually pretty great. All right. right, there's all those ducks and some jumping sparrows and some jumping squirrels here too. And as well, some marathon runners. It's the perfect spot to watch a marathon runner too. Wow, a walking way. Oh yeah, there is, all the way down there. And there's a the, the yes. stream next to it. The stream, right. But isn't that like a lake though still? Or is that... A stream from the lake. Uh-huh. Not... The this would actually be a lot better. And now it's like you don't even see that much of the lake anymore. It's like even a garden now. And this is the end of the road. So this is where we're gonna turn back. And it's that point that whatever you look at turns out to be more factories and rather outside of the neighborhood. And that's it. That's what connects through you can see the huh it's still for now it's a bit easier to see the stream from here yes i can see from both ways i can see the lake from here and from here you can okay it just got a little bit easier this second having a look at this stream as you get right into the walking path and there's the lake once again some more fishing going on right there that's actually fun Imagine it hits the ducks though, but hey, at least you can still do fishing in this lake. In an area that is at least more protective for fishing and something that at least you won't hit the ducks. Like this area. In this area, you never know when a duck would pass, but you can still do fishing around here. Almost back to that point that we have started this. Along with this plastic car right there. Oh. <laughs> You see, missed that point, I get why. I was just looking at the, ah, just to realize what the sign says, but there's the necks of these goose, man. What the heck? What the heck even is this? And now there's a lot more here as we get down and away from the lake. Yeah, here they are. Ducks now, again. Yeah, this time even more than it's what you would find at the lake. Yeah. That's actually nice. So let's make a guess. How many ducks are there in this Laguna region? How many ducks are there? I can guess, 450? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I think that's really a lot. I would say 250. 250? Yeah. Okay, well. I wonder who's right. Well, at least this is just a game though. Oh, and even there's a volleyball area. Well, not only one, but two places that you can play volleyball this is pretty clear though honestly i would even expect there to be a basketball place then after seeing this volleyball place as well so as well at this area you can do a lot of sporting things around here and they even got an rv 
close to the entrance, so looks like there is some guys doing camping. There's a tennis court. Oh, there's a, oh, yeah, there's a tennis court. Yeah. And this is the continuing of the steam. This is actually very narrow though, but at least there are some parts, like some small areas though, for the ducks to be able to drink water. Yeah, look at that. They even got a set of three slides. So that's the kids park right next to the stream, the lake. And that's it. That is it, that was fun. And the ducks again, well, now, after this, we won't be able to see any more ducks, squirrels, and all that. But even as you exit, you see the ducks, that's actually quite fun. That's right. And just about 30 minutes ago, we were, oh, it's now hidden though. So it's not going to be really easy to see it. But we were sitting around here 30 minutes ago. I like how many stickers that they got in this car. Yeah, that's fun. There, I made it back after a bitter adventure in the woods. It was bitter, but there's always an advantage of having bitter adventures. Gotta dip it in like a condiment. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this. All right. Oh, it still floats. By the way, that's actually fun. Oh, oh. Oh my god, <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? I bet that it didn't break. It just fell on the floor really hard. It's just, well, great. It didn't break. All right, what I'm gonna do with it now is I'm gonna throw it around. There, now I gotta run in the pool and I'm gonna continue. All right, so back to business. So, to fetch it. And I gotta dip my head in at some point. So. All right, now I got this again. Oh, okay. This time I didn't hit it too hard, thank God. All right, so. Right, now. <laughs> what kind of a throw was that? All right, so it's even better. Oh! Hey! Oh my God, it got stuck all the way right there. Oh, gotta collect it. Gotta collect it before it falls. Yes! Okay, one more throw. Yeah, got it. Okay, now I'm going to try and shoot this into the jacuzzi. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it hit the jacuzzi. It splashed into the jacuzzi. So now to get my biceps into that jacuzzi and this is it this is it and now back into the pool yeah i turned on the machine for the jacuzzi to bring out all that bubble but for some reason it's not even working and there is not as much water in the jacuzzi as there would usually be so honestly this is a twist oh Okay, now I'm starting to feel it. Now I'm starting to feel the bubbles come through. It is very glitchy at the moment because of the capacity of the water, but gotta work with it. Anyway, guys, so thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you tomorrow.